Today's rant's brought to you by New Works Plumbing of Sacramento. Locally owned for over 20 years, New Works has a fix for you. For your plumbing needs and repairs, just go to newworksplumbing.com, N-E-W-W-R-X plumbing.com. Hey, join me later today, 3 o'clock Pacific. I will be live on Listen App. It is Open Forum Wednesday. You know, I've been thinking about this the last 24 or 48 hours after the Niners announced that Jimmy Garoppolo would be on the team this year after restructuring his deal. He'll be the backup to Trey Lance. But everybody's been talking about Lance. He's going to be great. Now he's going to be a bust, this or that. Here's the reality. Kyle Shanahan doesn't know the answer to that question. John Lynch doesn't know the answer to that question. You don't know the answer, and I don't know the answer. And if you think I'm wrong and you're some great expert, really, how did you do in the 2018 draft? Really? Do you think that the Cleveland Browns, if they had a do-over, would take Baker Mayfield one? Do you think the Jets would take Sam Darnold third? Do you think the Arizona Cardinals would move up in the draft to take Josh Rosen, who can't even make an NFL roster? The guy has been a huge bust. He was cut again yesterday. Do you think that all the teams would have passed on Lamar Jackson, who was taken last in the first round? Do you think that Josh Allen would have fallen to seven? Or do you think that Josh Allen may have been first or at the worst second in that draft? Do you want me to talk about the Bears moving up one spot to take Mitchell Trubisky? Do you want me to talk about the teams that passed on Patrick Mahomes in 2017? I think you get my point. Hey, if NFL scouting departments cannot adequately evaluate NFL quarterbacks, what makes you think I can or you can? There are mistakes made every single year at the quarterback position in the NFL. So maybe Lance turns out to be a star, and maybe he turns out to be a bust like so many of the names that I just mentioned. But can we at least hold our freaking horses and at least watch the guy play a couple of games where he is the legitimate number one starter and will have a chance to prove himself on the field? I mean, is that asking too much? Yeah, I get the fact that we all like to be right and we all like to give our opinions and nobody likes to be wrong. But in this case, 50% of the people will end up being wrong. And that is my rant for today. If you like what I had to say, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. And as always, thank you so much for watching Grant's Rant.